this is a quick guide on how to use Drishti. So what you want to first do is go to drishtiai.org and head over to the screening page. Once you get here, we're going to give some quick instructions on how to use the app. The app uses retinal scans to do AI diagnosis, so it's image-based. And what you'll notice is that it only does one eye at a time. So if you do take two scans, make sure you split them and do one scan at a time. So this window includes information on how to properly format your image. Uh, each upload will take about 10 seconds to complete, so just be patient while it does that. And then finally, you're going to receive a condition on a severity scale. You're either going to see no DR, mild DR, moderate DR, severe DR, or proliferative DR. And note that re-uploading the page will actually uh, remove your output diagnosis. So if you reload the page, it's going to go away. And this is for patient privacy. And then so make sure you remember what the condition was, what you were diagnosed with, and just write it down. But if you do need it again, you can just re-upload the same picture and it will cost you and it will cost you nothing. It's entirely free. There's no harm in uploading a file twice. So if we go over here, let's kind of look at what kind of file we need to upload. You need to upload the retinal scan, obviously, to make it work. And it needs to be a square shape. It needs to be the same height and width in dimensions. So the image ideally can be 224 by 224 pixels, but any size will work as long as it's a square. So 1000 by 1000, 500 by 500, as long as it's a square, it'll be perfect. And make sure that it's a single eye scan and it's not two eye scans on a single image. This isn't going to work. And you can make sure that that scan is relatively centered. And then to crop the scan, you can either crop it on your own computer, the phone, or you can use this website right here. So let's quickly go over what a good example looks like. This is a very good example. There's very little black space. The, it's perfectly circular and it's only one retinal scan. These are bad examples. We can see that this has two retinal scans. There's lots of black space, so this won't work. This will not give an accurate diagnosis. You can only do one retinal scan at a time. So again, if you have two, you're gonna receive two separate diagnoses for each scan, for each eye. And again, this is bad because it has six scans on a single image and it has letters and annotations, which we do not want. So let's go ahead and test this. Here, we'll start with the right eye. So it's gonna, the file is called test underscore right dot PNG. And as we upload, it's gonna show you your, your image. It is a little bit squished and that's because it wasn't perfectly square. It had the, it, one of the dimensions was a little bigger. But again, this is not a big deal because this is pretty close to a square and it will work fine. But do your best to make it a square if possible. And while you wait, while, you, while it's loading, do not press anything. And then you finally get your diagnosis. So it's gonna say test right is the correct PNG. It's the rest correct file, and it's going to say you have been diagnosed with severe diabetic retinopathy. So I'm going to remember this. I'm going to write this down somewhere, and now I'm going to reload to do the other eye. So now that we've done the right eye, let's go ahead and upload the left eye. So we choose the other file, right? So for this patient, we've done one scan for each eye, and we've split them into two separate images. We can obviously only do one image at a time, one eye at a time. So we'll do it twice and get a diagnosis for each eye. And obviously, while it's loading, do not mess with anything. Let it, let it run out. And once it finishes, we're going to receive a diagnosis. So we get test underscore left dot PNG. And this says, unfortunately, you've been diagnosed with severe diabetic retinopathy. So both images, both eyes were diagnosed at the same level. And now we are done with our diagnosis. We can proceed forward. So hopefully now you know how to use Drishti. And hopefully this was a helpful video.